real world okay so uh, these type of things when you see uh, what do you think uh, uh, means uh, what kind of thing that comes into your mind so the first picture that uh, that is there is basically an evaporator coil the first picture is of an evaporator coil now sorry just hold on okay okay so so the first picture the first picture is of an evaporator coil so evaporator coil this is an ac coil okay this is a split ac we all have split acs or at least we all have seen split acs okay so these are the coils can you see this i'm marking and this is the unit this is also called indoor unit because it is being placed on your wall on the wall of your living room so this is an indoor unit and the compressor and the condenser coil is being placed as an outdoor unit for the split ac but when you talk about the window ac it's a package kind of thing so it's it's all in the same box okay so this is a split ac indoor unit which is kept which is being mounted on your wall so this is basically the filter which is being clogged but we are not considered about this filter right now what we are considered about this these are basically copper coils as you can see the color these are copper coils but can you see these lines these fine mesh can you see these fine meshes can you tell me what are these these are actually extended surfaces or these are also called fins okay i will discuss uh uh means what are fins all about and uh, what do they actually help us how do they actually help us and what they're all about okay so they are basically fins and these are also being commonly termed as extended surfaces in the terminology of this subject okay so this i think you might have seen 1 lakh times in your lifetime even more than that i'm just you know guessing the number but what is this this is a bike engine okay and this bike engine is nothing but it has an air cooled engine it, 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 it's an air cooled engine and it has got fins over here can you see these meshes can you see these meshes it's actually you know circling the engine shell okay the engine cylinder okay so what are these called these are also fins these were also fins okay so and what is this again you might have seen 1 lakh times in your lifetime again i'm guessing a number it might be uh, in fact greater than this so what is this actually this is a radiator can you tell me whether this is an air cooled radiator or a water cooled radiator or a liquid cooled radiator actually it's a liquid cooled radiator had see they have three ports had there been only two ports then we would have you know easily guessed it that it's a air cooled radiator but you can pour the liquid from this port okay you can pour the liquid from this port and it flows across and then the heat gets exchanged and the phase changes so this is the radiator can you see these meshes once again can you see these meshes once again these lines there again fins okay once again so the fins are very 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 crucial this is uh, the, these are only three such examples from the plethora of numerous numerous examples which is actually moving around in day to day life near our eyes but we actually do not give any damn to you know to actually you know see and to you know Uh, perform the you know imagination that why these are there and what they're actually doing over these uh, over these equipment and had it been not there on this equipment then what have, what would have been the uh, you know uh, the impact or what would have been the result okay so for this content for this video we'll be discussing analytical and uh, means analytical means uh, i i meant to say the derivation 
of these fins because they are so common so i thought that i should first of all show you the pictures okay because they are very much easy to understand very much easy to pictureize in your mind and this is the ac this is the ac radiator uh, uh, this is the ac evaporator coil okay of a split ac and these mesh lines are the fins this is the bike engine okay and this is the radiator 